Have you ever started a diet program perhaps and you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing and then two weeks later, you bravely do your first scale check-in to check your weight and you look down and you get a little depressed because you've gained three pounds. A sense of progress in anything we're doing in life is incredibly important when it comes to building momentum and feeling engaged and motivated. It's so important at work. And we know from, again, tons of research, the managers underestimate this as an important factor. They don't see it as a big factor at all, according to so many surveys, whereas employees and a lot of research suggest otherwise. 76% of employees say that their best days, the days that they report being the happiest on, are days where they made significant progress. There's a huge correlation between feeling like we've made progress on a project at work, that we've completed stuff at work, and our happiness levels and our engagement levels. Now we've already touched on many things you can do to give employees a sense of progress, but again, it's important to stress this because it really does make a huge difference and it ties into so many different things. It ties into knowing what your purpose is at work and are you making progress towards achieving that mission, vision, your goals at work. It ties into effective goal setting and offering stretch goals to employees where they feel like they're learning new skills and developing new skills and developing as leaders so they can see progress being made. It ties into giving employees constant feedback and that's why feedback is so important because it gives us a sense of progress in our jobs. It ties back to the need to celebrate, celebrate those small steps, to have that target, that scorecard, that thermometer, whatever you use to track your progress, to track your numbers, to celebrate your metrics. It ties into even simple things. Back to Zingerman's restaurant that I mentioned earlier, where they've turned all sorts of different things into games, where they turned it into a game to reduce the number of knife injuries, for example. Well, as soon as you do that, A, it becomes fun, but it also becomes measurable. Now you can see the progress that is being made. Creating a few rituals or traditions can be a really effective way to give people a sense of progress and to celebrate a sense of progress at work as well. So maybe once a quarter you have a progress party or a progress meeting where you remind everybody of how much you have actually achieved in that last quarter. Or a weekly Friday afternoon huddle where you just talk about the progress everyone made, the top three wins of the week. So people see a little bit of a sense of progress at the end of every week. They leave on a high note and are excited to come back next Monday morning and carry on with the journey. So there's lots of ways to do this. You just have to make sure as a culture leader, you are doing it. You have to be intentional about it as a culture leader. You've got to communicate that progress relentlessly that you are making and you've got to celebrate the progress that people are making.